Welcome to this exciting project where we transform the ESP32 cam into a live streaming camera with real-time NTB time overlay. Imagine integrating accurate timestamps on your video feed for surveillance, IoT projects, or even personal experiments. Let's dive into this practical and innovative build. The ESP32M is a compact, low-cost module that combines Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and a camera, making it perfect for IoT and DIY surveillance projects. ESP32CAM allows for seamless integration of visual data into smart systems. Despite its small size, the ESP32CAM is packed with features, including multiple GPIO pins, SD card support. The USB 2 TTL converter is an essential tool for programming and debugging the ESP32CAM. It ensures reliable data transfer by converting USB signals to T-level serial data, making it a crucial component for microcontroller projects. Follow the wiring diagram carefully to ensure proper connections. And don't forget to connect the GND pin to the IO0 pin on the ESP32 cam to enable programming mode. First take ESP32 cam. It has TX and RX pins on the right side, while 5V and ground pin on the left side of the module. We have also replaced stock lens with wide-angle lens. The module has SD card support as well. On the back side, you can see Wi-Fi chip and reset button along with voltage regulator. To upload sketch to the ESP32 cam module, we will need USB to TTL converter. It comes with power pins and TX, RX pins to make serial connection. Now take the jumper wire and connect white wire to 5V pin and gray wire to ground pin of the converter. Take another jumper wire and connect yellow wire to TX pin of the converter and green wire to RX pin of the converter as shown in the video. Now connect wide wire of the jumper wire to 5 volt pin and gray wire to ground pin of the camera module. Now we need to connect serial communication wires to camera module. Connect yellow wire to RX pin and green wire to TX pin of the camera module. Now important note is, if you want to enable programming mode of the camera module, connect ground pin to IO0 pin of the camera module. And now we are ready to proceed further. Let's take a look at the sketch of this project. Open the sketch in the Arduino ID. The include section imports essential libraries for camera control, Wi-Fi connectivity, NTP synchronization, and image processing, forming the foundation of the project. These libraries enable seamless integration of hardware and software, ensuring efficient handling of streaming, time overlay, and camera functionality. This section defines the Wi-Fi credentials required for connecting the ESP32 CAM to your local network, ensuring seamless data transmission. Additionally, the NTP server settings synchronize the module with real-time global time data for accurate timestamp overlay. The camera model configuration specifies the GPIO pins used by the ESP32 CAM tailored to the iThinker variant for proper hardware initialization. This setup ensures accurate communication between the ESP32 and the connected camera module. This section handles the HTTP streaming of the camera feed, setting the response type and continuously capturing frames from the ESP32M. 
It retrieves the current time from the NTP server, formats it, and overlays the timestamp onto each captured frame before sending it to the client. The code ensures frames are converted to JPG format if necessary, allowing smooth streaming with real-time time overlaid directly on the video. This conversion compresses the image to JPG format, optimizing it for efficient transmission over the network without sacrificing visual quality. This block sends the JPG image chunks to the client in parts, ensuring the streaming protocol is properly followed for continuous video delivery. Camera server function initializes and starts an HTTP server on port 80, registering the URI handler to serve the live video stream. In the setup function, the camera hardware is configured with the appropriate GPIO pins and settings, ensuring compatibility and stable performance for the project. The camera frame size and buffer count are adjusted based on the availability of PSRAM dot. Wi-Fi is configured and connected using the provided credentials, ensuring network access for streaming. The NTP server is initialized to synchronize and retrieve the current date and time for timestamp overlay. The IP address for accessing the live video stream is printed to the serial monitor after successful initialization. And with this, we are ready to upload the sketch. Hit upload button and wait for the process to complete. Once you've successfully uploaded the sketch, connect the USB TTL adapter and power the ESP32CAM module using a reliable power source like a power bank. Don't forget to remove the jumper wire connecting the GND pin to the IO0 pin. This ensures the module operates in normal mode rather than programming mode. Open the serial monitor in the Arduino ID and set the baud rate to 115200. After pressing the reset button on the ESP32 cam, you should see a message confirming a successful boot along with the IP address of the device. Use this IP address in your browser to access the live camera feed. Pro tip, keep the module in a well-lit environment to test the feed quality and make sure your Wi-Fi network is within range for stable performance. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting DIY projects. See you in the next video. I am DHK Dude, signing off.